OTC? OTC, go. TBC. TBC, go. TTC. TTC is go. LPS. LPS, go. Houston. The goal has been given to retract the orbiter access arm. It's the walkway that the crew uses to get inside and outside of Discovery. And if the need arose, we could uh, move it back into position within a few seconds. ELT, perform APU pre-start. And that's in work. Final test of the flight control surfaces. Being done with a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the, the engines and other flight surfaces are ready. That includes moving the three-man engines. And that's how Discovery steers its way into orbit. Top of the external fuel tank, known as the beanie cap, is being removed at this time. DLT, caution and warning memory clear is complete with no unexpected errors. Copy. Discovery, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Discovery and work. CLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Coming up on go for auto sequence start. The computers on board Discovery control the spacecraft. TLS go for auto sequence start. 25. T minus 25 seconds and counting. 20. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10. 10 seconds, we have go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Discovery. Kambate Kudasai. Best of luck to the International Space Station's newest laboratory. Houston, Discovery, roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery, a man-made rising sun on behalf of Japan. Discovery on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Thirty-six seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery already five miles in altitude, eight and a half miles downrange, traveling almost a thousand miles an hour. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Throttle up. Throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Mark Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Ken Ham, flight engineer Ron Garan, and mission specialist Karen Nyberg. Down on the mid deck are Mike Fossum, Aki Hoshide, and Greg Shamatov, heading for a half year on the International Space Station. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight. Discovery 22 miles in altitude, 23 miles downrange, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Copy staging. Booster officer confirms staging, a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The onboard computer steering the shuttle for the on-ramp to the highway for the International Space Station. Discovery 37 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange, traveling 3,200 miles an hour. Discovery Houston, press to ATO, select Istris. Roger, press the ATO, we'll select distance. 
That call acknowledged by uh, Commander Mark Kelly, indicating that uh, in the event of a loss of a main engine, we could still make our abort to orbit targets. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. The orbiter will soon begin to roll to a heads up position. Now beginning that roll to heads up, the main engine's now swiveling. The shuttle rolling to its position above the fuel tank, gaining more favorable communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as it heads uphill. Six minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling almost 10,000 miles an hour, 397 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Istris 104, your shutdown plan is nominal, and your go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Coming at Terry, coming at Boundary, nominal shutdown plan, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Good read back, and you are pressed to Miko. Press to main engine cutoff call by Commander Mark Kelly indicating should we lose a main engine, we can still make our nominal main engine cutoff targets. However, all three main engines hang in perfectly, as well as the auxiliary power units and the fuel cells at the seven-minute mark into the flight. Discovery now 515 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 11,000 miles an hour. Very soon, the main engines will once again be throttled down to limit the stress on the shuttle and its seven crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. Houston, single engine press 104. Roger, single engine press 104. At the time of main engine cutoff, a little more than a minute from now, Discovery will enter its preliminary orbit at a speed of five miles a second. Discovery 615 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, looking great. Engines now throttling back. Less than a minute of powered flight remaining for Discovery. Traveling 14,000 miles an hour, almost 700 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery passing 23,000 feet per second at the eight minute mark into the flight. A flawless ascent so far for the orbiter. Standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff, standing by for external tank separation. External tank separation confirmed. Discovery now in its preliminary orbit. The centerpiece of Japanese space science, Kibo, completing the first leg of its journey to the International Space Station.